No, I'm just looking at keyboards. Keybeards. Oh, what what keyboards are you looking at? You know, I'm I'm a keychron guy, dude. Oh, you see, so you're looking more more keychrons, huh? Yeah, dude. What's a keychron? It's a brand. It's a brand. Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought it was like some brand of crouton. <laughs> yeah, it's keychron. I'm a crouton. I'm a crouton guy. The switches yeah, are like, extra I only crunchy. want keychrons in my yeah. salad. <laughs> <laughs> keychrons. Uh, yeah, I like cherry MX key- tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Would you like some keychrons with that, sir? <laughs> I got I got keycap or key switches that are they're not linear. They're still tactile, but they're as quiet as possible. They are so quiet. I don't like that. that. You, you can't. I would say no one cares, but considering this is a Star Trek podcast, a portion of the audience might care. <laughs> uh, I have I have a question. Yes. Thoughts on mechanical keyboards in the office? Uh, only um, if they're not, not the loud. Not the clicky kind. Yeah. Not the clicky because kind. Because there's no, three types. I, I think it's fine. The no, clicky kind is unreasonable. <laughs> Ricardo, you're there, the there, there, okay. there is almost no situation in which you need an actual clicky keyboard anymore. Well, there's no reason to need anything. No one needs anything. Marvin has no right to be speaking on this. He had the loudest fucking <laughs> yeah. keyboard. It was not a clicky keyboard. <laughs> it, was it was a clicky keyboard. Dude. It was oh, a linear. Was, oh, you were <laughs> linear. <laughs> Oh my god, that would drive me nuts. That's see, see, that's because I type so <laughs> angrily. Regardless of what keyboard I used, it would have sounded that loud. <laughs> Look, I like that noise, so <laughs> I accept it. But I know people that were like, "God damn it, Marvin, fucking quiet down, no, dude." Wait, no matter just what, out on linears. Yeah, yeah I'll just bottoming out on. Li- no matter what keyboard, if, if you gave me like a Apple fl- that weird flat keyboard, it still would have been loud. Really? Because, because I slam the keys, especially when have I'm working. Have you tried not slamming it? Well, that's how I work fast. I just go do 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 do. I'm working fast, you know. Like it's. it's I had a coworker. I was in like a a room yeah. with a door locked because I was working on content that needed to be behind a locked door. <laughs> And so I, it was a room of like, I don't know, 10 of us and a coworker had a, the most clickiest (laughs) mechanical keyboard. It drove me wild. I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. Cause there are switches that like literally have like the very pronounced click as part of the design. Yes. No, it was so, it was so loud. It was. There's for mechanical yeah. switches, there's three broad categories. There is linear, which is it doesn't have any click at all. It just literally slides up and down. There there is no bump at all. There's tactile, where it feels like you hit like a little click, but it's generally set, like soft and quiet. Then you have clicky, which is like the most famous type of clicky which even though it's technically not a mechanical keyboard would be like the old IBM keyboards. You know, the ones that have like the buckling springs. It goes. Tung, 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 tung. Yeah, that would feel like, a little more like that. What's the one called where you're typing and you literally can't hear what the other person's saying because it's so loud. <laughs> That's Probably the, the clicky kind. Yeah. The most, the, the currently the most famous clicky would be like cherry MX blues, which are just obnoxiously loud. They sound I think like that little- should be banned. That should be banned <laughs> from a, from a shared workspace. You know what's crazy? Uh, so Cherry MX is a German company, right? And the Cherry MX Blue was actually consider- considered the office standard for like 30 years in Germany. So many German offices. To just them, it had- sounds like business. <laughs> <laughs> just had these loud ass clicky keyboards. <laughs> Yeah, that clicking um, into the, oh, here's the this thing, time. She's a thing is, yeah, you, you, you are a loud typer, dude. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm just loud I, in general. I didn't like yeah. it. Did, I didn't he like re- it. did he really I, get I, complaints? I, 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 so, sorry, I, I didn't mind it. I, I, I would hear like l- like rumblings like, oh, fuck, that's loud. Oh, dude. wow. <laughs> Savannah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind, but here's the thing. Now we know Marvin's uh, fucking devastated fucking uh, finger banger, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He just devastates right. vaginas, dude. I mean, I do have strong fingers. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I do have a good. Yeah, dude. I do have good grip strength. <laughs> yeah, not gonna dude. lie. So. Over a hundred words per minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> types so fast that he, 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 <laughs> the, way he the way he trains his fingers is he, he tapes a, a a keyboard like an, it's, under it's, the desk. It's like that clip from <laughs> Ghost in the Shell <laughs> where yeah, the fingers like separate <laughs> out and all the and all the wires come out. And I actually tape little weights to my fingers. <laughs> So oh as I God. type, it's strength. So you just go like that. Because like, uh, <laughs> some people will train, like, uh, use the, the grippers. But oh, yeah, not, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. You're not the grippers. You're just the fingers. You like, <laughs> gotta get the, the, the finger banging strength. It's you know, when I broke my much. hand, I legit bought the little rubber thingy that is designed to re re kind of train your 
hand muscles. Yeah, the little rubber thingy that's designed to what? <laughs> Tra- train <laughs> your muscles, it's like, dude. It's like you, uh, you, 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 um, put it on your fingers, all five of them, and then you have to stretch outward to like kind of retrain the, your uh, finger muscles. Yeah, <laughs> the doctor was like, the doctor was like, I have horribly bad news. You'll never be able to <laughs> finger bang again. <laughs> And, you can never and Mar- figure. And Mar- Marvin was like, "Don't <laughs> fucking tell me what I can't do, you fucking piece of shit." <laughs> yeah, I'm show you train don't, every don't, day. Don't, don't you put that on me? Don't you dare put that on me. <laughs> the doctor was like, "For some reason, both hands will never be able to finger bang ever again." <laughs> <laughs> you just oh wait till March right in, right into this yeah. office and finger bang right in front of you. <laughs> a year later, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, watch me. Wow. Watch me. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, and then I got arrested. <laughs> wow. Uh that was quite the no. tangent. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, we got there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We finally got an intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, in Star Trek. They don't have keyboards. They only have you, they, well, they yeah, just yeah, 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 touch screens. Wait, with yeah. do, do you think? Do you think Probably somebody? No feedback. Somebody has. Well, you know how like on phones we could add the clicking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think somebody has like <laughs> the, the, the clanking? It's like. Like they, they added haptic feedback onto yeah. their their touch screens. <laughs> like the Helms com is constantly vibrating. I mean, like it's it's very difficult to type without any haptic feedback at all. Like the very first like PDAs and whatnot, you would like try to use them and you're like, I guess it's working. But, and then the Apple realized you should vibrate the phone slightly every time it touches yeah. a little bit. Well, <laughs> the, the, I, when I use an iPad, it isn't, it isn't really. And I do find iPads more unwieldy to use. It's true. Eh, it's fine. Just so, use your thumbs, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I still think the sidekick was the pinnacle of, of thumb-based <laughs> typing. Oh, Just yeah. whip it out. Yeah. Just talk, talk all that. Shit was sick. Well, Everybody, welcome to Newbie Star Trek. I'm Marvin. I'm here with Sarah, Ricardo, and Dan. Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hello. A couple things uh, before we get started. Yeah. If you're a new listener, what's up? How are you? Welcome. That's <laughs> Ricardo talking, by the way. Yeah, it's me. Uh, if you are easily offended, this isn't for you. It's fine. It's okay. Not every flavor of ice cream is for everybody. I'm lactose intolerant. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't even need ice cream. So it's fine. It's fine if we piss you off. Just just turn it off. It's if okay. we piss you off, maybe you could take some lactate before you listen to the episode. Yeah, and dude. And see how you feel about um, it afterwards. But if you're an old listener, first time caller, welcome back. We love you. Second of all, remember, guys, if we get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, mm-hmm. I'll live stream a, a tattoo, a Star Trek tattoo. Mm-hmm. Is there a time limit anymore? Uh, to end of the year. So like, uh, if, if it happens before... You know, December 20, what is it? Are there 31 days in, Jan- in, in December? Oh, yeah. There's 31 days in December. Okay. So it, if it happens before the end of December, um, 100,000, uh, the next year, the January, I will want to have some time. Mm. I will go and live stream it. Now, w- the important question is, where will you tattoo this? Um, I mean, somewhere visible, you know, like okay. not like, not in like my leg or something. I'll, I'll put it somewhere visible. Face. Not on your, face. not on your booty. No, okay. <laughs> not, what if not, it's not determined by the month you achieve a hundred thousand? <laughs> Every oh. month has a different place. All the earlier the month, the oh. larger the tattoo. <laughs> 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 and the more sexually explicit. <laughs> oh. Just fucking, wore fucking tapatio fucking Like for finger. example, yeah, get it by yeah. the end of May, tramp stamp. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hell tramp yeah. stamp uh, and you could put like a bothleth as the tramp stamp and that would oh, yeah. match yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that would and then work. roses around it yeah <laughs> symbolizing each life that fucking work is taken <laughs> and the two <laughs> hands the b- yeah. that are bleeding from the top of to sex oh yeah dude. and yeah. then it says kaplock on the cheeks <laughs> yeah. yeah amazing love it mev it says Mev. <laughs> oh my god! No, don't Mev. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> You're killing the mood. Don't tell him to he, stop. Uh, I'll, 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 Exit I'll, only. <laughs> I'll get like a com badge, or something like the 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 just a little logo or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could do um, that. Classy. There you go. Classy. Um, or maybe uh, like the outline of the starship. Oh yeah, that would be cool too. Classy, yeah. classy. Yeah. I'll leave it up to the tattoo guy, my guy. Oh, maybe he'll just do it. He'll be like, "What's Star yeah. Trek?" He yeah. just he, he just puts like Chewbacca on it. Yeah. yeah, I was like, make sure he doesn't Chewbacca. confuse Star Wars and Star Trek. Yeah. 
Because I it's would. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Kaplack those cheeks. Yeah. Part uh, this. Well, this week, we watched Rascals. Uh, it's oh, a yeah, pretty famous is. episode. Oh, Ricardo, you got your row, kind of. Yeah, Ro yeah. was there, but... Kind like, of. I don't know if it counts, so. It was a tiny count. child. No, yeah, they, <laughs> doesn't so. count. Doesn't they count, cheated. Dude. It wasn't Michelle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was there yeah. for a hot minute, and then she disappeared, so... But she Again with the hot minute. <laughs> but Do she doesn't think? even return at the end. <laughs> I know. That's a bummer. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm i going to say it. I really enjoyed this episode. It was, it was wonky. Mm. It was funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it was the wacky antics I like. I mean, it's one of the most famous episodes of Star Trek. Because it's that, you also, say that about every episode, dude. I, I don't believe you, you. You're the was, you're the you're the boy who cried uh, wolf. No, you didn't uh, say that about <laughs> schisms. <laughs> you just sure, sure as fuck didn't say that about schisms. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say that about schisms. I didn't say that about True Q. But but uh, but every every season, you're like, this is the best. This well, yes. Out of 26 of episodes season. a season, some of them yeah. will be famous. <laughs> yes. Yeah. People around the world. Better know that there be more famous episodes than not. Uh, yeah, yeah. But Rascals is particularly famous. Because, you know, oh, kid, they're kids now. And also, again, calls into question the transporter. Is- Will the transporter's powers ever stop emerging? <laughs> yeah. Also, you've discovered the fountain of youth. I yes. Guess why, so. Exactly. <laughs> why not just keep using Because they, they demonstrated that there are actually no negative side effects. Yeah. Oh, and sure, I'll even give it to them that they oh, that they took this long to find to figure it out. But they figured it out in this episode. Yeah. yeah you would imagine yeah. that Beverly they would do, reverse engineered it. They just yeah. do it to everyone. <laughs> I'd like it's to funny. live longer, please. She can't please. cure anybody. <laughs> she can't cure any illness. She keeps killing people. But for this, she's like, yeah. She's like, it, it doesn't it doesn't align with my values. I'd yeah, rather I'd rather funny. they go back back to being old <laughs> they're, 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 a tiny bit yeah. of puberty it's fine yeah she's just, like she's like technically i'm killing them because i'm i'm, I'm aging them quickly <laughs> <laughs> i'm accelerating their death yeah all right I, let's get th- into th- things this was this was a reverse big episode yeah yeah it's, yes, it's it was small yeah small uh things. small aka rascals first aired on november 2nd of 1992 dan Let's do it. Let's let's go around the let's sun. Let's go it. Let's All go. Right. It. There's only two things again. Wow. Uh, but there, it, since it aired just after Halloween, it's actually pretty Halloweeny. Um, the first oh. thing on Halloween. Guess what show debuted? Halloween. No, no, no. <laughs> Goosebumps. Mm, well, who's know. been watching X Men '97? Because oh. it was the OG X Men that debuted on Halloween night. Oh, it's a spooky Fox episode. Games. Yeah. Spooky. Oh, is, is that what they call it? Because it ended in '97. Is that what they call it? That's why they call it. Yeah. That's it's because it's supposed it, to be a continuation yeah, it of where it left off. Took about that long to, to yeah. end. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. wow. And yeah. Uh, the second thing, just as filler, because I usually go to that well. The most recently aired episode of The Simpsons of the time was Treehouse of Horror number three, which of featured course. the classic segments involving the Killer Krusty doll, mm-hmm. the King Kong parody, and mm-hmm. the one where Bart raises the dead with the spell from a book. Yes. It also classic. includes the origin of John Smith, 1882. My mistake. <laughs> so yeah, there's your trip around the sun because ain't nothing going on right now. <laughs> um, there's your problem. It was turned to evil. Uh, yeah, yes. I I have a question. What was the first fact? Sorry, uh, the first uh, fact was X Men ninety seven. Yeah, yeah. X Men ninety. The original um, animated are you, series. Are you guys watching that show? I, I am. I'm, I am not watching it till it's finished. I am. I watch uh, it. It's pretty good. I, I tend to do that with shows these days because, like, like I didn't start watching Fr- Freer and Journey's End until all of the episodes released. So mm. you know, right? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Like, it, actually, my viewing experience of X Men '97 has been like a third of it has been like, is that how they were in the old show? I, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. A lot of it is just me like trying to remember whether like, or not this. Yeah. Is, like just a retooling just going on into whatever they want now or if it has any relation to how things used to be. But from what I understand, each episode is kind of like a completely different thing, right? Like they don't really like... So far, they haven't been all that related to each other, but they're starting to build on more plot lines now. It, it okay. feels like it's coming together a little more. That's kind of like how the arcs in the original show worked where you'd have like six episode chunks that are one story and they would just stop. And then, and then would- Fox Kids would just skip a couple and to show you the third yes. episode and an arc and be like I don't know what happened to the other two we never showed them to you yes but the show yeah. still survived anyway because their kids were like 
cool Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Cyclops shoots eye lasers. Oh no, Jean's getting overwhelmed again. <laughs> All oh, the so psych- storm. None of, none of the psychic people have any any use whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Xavier, I wonder if there's a supercut of all the times Xavier is thrown out of his wheelchair. <laughs> well, there's certainly the great supercuts of of Xavier just, you know, my freaking mind. out of Wolverine's mind. My mind. <laughs> You're driving me insane. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 that wheelchair has the, the same uh, dampeners. <laughs> that wheelchair has the same dampeners as the Enterprise. Yeah, yeah. If it's if it's because it's floating, if it's knocked slightly off axis, he'll just fly out of. His yeah. <laughs> also, if you guys can find, I don't know if it's still on YouTube, but look up a clip of the old X Men cartoon called "Covered in Scorpions." Oh. Uh, also, just look up X Men Stupidity by The Switcher. There is a lot of fun stuff going on in just. Oh, that. I hope there. If not, if not the OG, mirrors must exist. Yeah, yeah. My favorite still is "Don't Worry, Child." I'll create a snowstorm. <laughs> 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 While it's just a shot of a locker. <laughs> yes. Uh, good, good old X Men. X Men the boy yeah it's funny. what people need to keep in mind is that the old show it, it wasn't, wasn't that great it was good it was okay <laughs> it's all nostalgia <laughs> yeah it's more nostalgia based than say batman the animated series is that show holds up better yeah yeah that's true you you rewatch batman btas now and you're like wow that's really good still or like Batman Beyond. A lot of Batman Beyond is still really good. Or Yeah, Superman. but of course the theme song of X-Men still is the thing. How yeah, I don't I don't they have that skip intro thing and I'm like, nah, not today. No, you not can't see because they actually change it every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have yeah. a question. Do you think so like there's an animated Star Trek show, right? The, uh it's the about to get cancelled. Well, oh, there's a few. No, 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 there's no, no, several no. over time. No, yeah. yeah. Well, yes, yes. There was so, the the animated series, which is the, the first series animated, original. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. there's Prodigy? There there's was Prodigy, Prodigy. There's Lower Decks. And there's Lower, Lower Decks. Decks. Yes. Prodigy okay. was re-picked up after being canceled by another channel. Yeah. And Lower Decks is being given one last season to finish off its five season run, which is pretty good. Yeah. Honestly. Good. Yeah. I wish more shows would do that. Like if they get canceled, like just, just do like a like a cheaper animated version with just voices, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean that that is kind of what um oh, I had an example in my mind that just flew away. Uh but they do that. <laughs> I love Lucy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they I used Lucy to do a lot show. more animated shows uh, yeah. based like, off well, of like, like cartoons. Like Beetlejuice. Or... Beetlejuice. We had right. Beetlejuice. We had Men in yeah, Black. Yeah, that happened a lot more in the early 90s. Rambo. Robocop. Remember Rambo? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The Mummy sh- The mummy animated series. Freedom Fighter. Rambo. Godzilla, the animated series. True. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Norris. Jackie Chan Adventures, which is a sequel to Jackie Chan in general. <laughs> <laughs> to Jackie, Chan Ch- Jackie Chan 2 Jackie yeah. Chan Adventures <laughs> basically uh, but yeah also let's get let's just go to our sponsors we're back with ground news because ground news is sick listen is if it? you want what's to, their deal listen it is a news aggregator but it's not just a god news god damn aggregator. it dude I hate It'll, to be aggregated <laughs> It combines and compares news headlines and reports from 50,000 sources around the world and compares them with details letting you know, hey, what type of bias does this newspaper have versus this newspaper? So this week I have an example. Uh, It's about Participant. For those who don't know, Participant is the studio that created a lot of Oscar winning movies. The most recent one, I think, was Green Book, which... uh, in my opinion, sucked, but they also got an Oscar for Spotlight, which I thought was actually quite good. So participants shut down because they, after pandemic, they kind of struggled to make money. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Associated Press, their headline for participant shutting down is participant studio behind Spotlight and Inconvenient Truth shutters after 20 years. That's pretty, pretty uh, neutral. neutral, you know, it's pretty objective. Yeah. Let's go to Breitbart. <laughs> uh, Breitbart. 
participant, the film studio behind an inconvenient truth and more woke message movies shuts down. So, <laughs> and the first first <laughs> sentence is left wing billionaire Jeff Skull's woke film studio participant is reportedly shutting down operations. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yes, Mr. Sherman, everything's woke. <laughs> yeah, so you know, th- this is that's the type of thing we chose a kind of a you know more less serious topic, but you know, you can compare and contrast different topics across other things. There's a lot of strong headlines depending on the the news source and also the way they they uh, you know, present that news, and you could compare lots of different ways. The, my favorite way when I use the Vantage tier, which is um one of the paid subscription tiers. You get your My News Bias personalized dashboard, which lets you see your reading habits, uh, lets you know how many stories you're reading a day, what the, what the bias you tends toward are, um, how factual are they. And to me, the most important is who owns them, because that lets you know, hey, what are their incentives for why they were presenting the news this way and all that. So is there a meter that tells you exactly how woke you are? <laughs> there is a, a kind of funny meter that does say how much of this is covered by the left versus the right. And you see like a literal like side to side bar thing. <laughs> oh, like a Splatoon result? Yeah, it's like a Splatoon result. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, which I think is funny. But you can also customize your feed. Choose from over 150,000 topics, locations, and people to follow. So not just the news aggregator. It also helps you put all the related articles in one place so you can easily compare coverage of the topics that you want to see. So if you want that. Does it tell you what fruits are more woke than others? You can. Women's curling. But the no, no, no. <laughs> fruits, fruits. <laughs> like Women's watermelon, curling, yes. Oranges. <laughs> oranges, I, f- I feel like, are, are like an immigrant fruit. You know what I mean? Definitely. I eat an orange today. I'm eating an orange right now. Oh, my God. Look at that. So if you guys want to see that kind of coverage, you can use Ground News for free. There's a lot of, of little options that you can use for free. But if you want to get the most out of it, sign up for a subscription and go to check.ground.news slash newbie. And that'll get you 15% off any subscription you choose. And if you're on the YouTube version, I have started adding QR codes. So you can just scan that QR code if you want to check that out. So again, that's check.ground.news slash a newbie for 15% off any subscription you choose. I personally use Vantage tier. I've been using Ground for a little over a year now. I'm very, very happy. And if you're using your phone to watch this on YouTube, then grab your friend's phone to use yes. the QR code. You need two phones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, second. Wait, they don't have a feature where you could just like screenshot a QR code? I think you can technically do that. There there are ways you can do that. Yeah, oh, yeah there must yeah. be actually. Yeah, yeah I always wondered, that. how do you do a QR code if you're on your phone? I think you can screenshot it and then most photo apps go, hey, there's a QR code here. You want to go there? And then it'll, it'll do this. Here, thing. let me go there for you already. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're already there. I've already signed you up. <laughs> I filled in your info for you. <laughs> you now have a Pornhub account. <laughs> You now will have five separate Pornhub accounts yeah, for the depends. <laughs> You've already been banned from Pornhub for excessive account making. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You have already been banned from your state because your state bans the looking at porn in your state and God you signed up for Pornhub dude. in your state. <laughs> Make sure you upload your driver's license or your ID or whatever the hell they require. If you now. don't want to do that bullshit, you should get a good VPN and a oh. good Oh, there VP- we go. Look at that. A smooth, <laughs> Man, smooth transition. I wish there was some way we could help about that. Yeah, you can use ExpressVPN, which honestly- What? You don't of, say. Could that help us? <laughs> all of us have been, honestly, been using ExpressVPN for many years now at this point. Here's the thing. That newspaper bullshit, dude. Mm-hmm. Don't use it, dude. <laughs> don't use it dude that's that's the truth express vpn on a daily fucking basis dude, man. oh you're saying you don't use it yeah i, I thought you're it. commanding everyone yeah, listening that, to no, 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 sorry 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 no i mean i don't use it <laughs> <laughs> leave it there. Leave it in though. <laughs> no, I'm leaving it in. Cooler. Okay, sounds cooler. Yeah, that, it sounds cooler. Yeah, it sounds cooler. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it, it, delete this part. So it just sounds really. No, cool. no, no. It's all staying in. You're fucked. <laughs> We're all but fucked. Look, I don't give a shit about newspapers, dude. They can all fucking fuck off, dude. <laughs> But I need Fuck to get my news. daily fix of pornography, <laughs> and yeah. the way I use it is I put on ExpressVPN. Boom, yeah. I'm in. You. I'm Protected, in the matrix. Ready Protected. to go. Hell yeah, dude. Can't be invaded by turkeys. Can't. No, no. 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 These turkeys will not make you sleepy. 
these jive turkeys can oh, invade your internet erotic connection. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, ExpressVPN is very secure, but like the name suggests, it's also very fast. It's also very accessible. There's 3,000 plus servers in 160 locations spanning 105 countries. It works on pretty much every device you can think of. And if you just don't want to even think about it, you can just put it on your router and your router yeah. will make sure that you're always on ExpressVPN all the time. And it actually works with streaming services that tend to try to blacklist IPs that use uh, VPNs because ExpressVPN constantly rotates their IPs. So they can't keep up. They're too fast. Like turkey. Keep yeah. joking. Yeah, so uh, if you want to try, try out that ExpressVPN, head on over to expressvpn.com slash Trek, And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free. That makes the entire package 49% off. And uh, the reason why I said try is because it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you yeah. can try it out for 30 days. And if you're not sure, you can just send that VPN back. Oh, and also, ExpressVPN has a bunch of other services built in. It's got a built-in ad blocker, which actually, honestly, I've been noticing the effects of because sometimes I have to take the VPN off because of other access issues. And I yeah. just see the Google results. And I'm like, oh, shit, it sucks. Uh, so the ad blocker is really nice. And the built-in keys password manager, which is really nice. It's got a password manager built right in. So again, you can head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months full for free. Also, you get eight devices per account. So That's you could, true. You could be logged on to eight different things, eight fucking porno screens, guys, <laughs> or eight screens. That means you could launch everything. You have Netflix on, you can have Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube TV, three mm-hmm. Pornhub windows. Mm-hmm. Really, the combinations yeah. are up to you. Mm-hmm. I don't want to, you know, I'm just giving you an idea. Mm-hmm. But also, if you want to just share it with your like your kids and your wife. Oh, yeah. That's explicitly what that's for. Yeah. 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 Eight, so you, eight fucking devices at a it's time. It's supposed to be so that a family can comfortably use ExpressVPN across it's a all great, their members. It's a great thing to use when you're on vacation and, you know, everyone's on the hotel Wi-Fi. Oh, yes. You don't want that, dude. If yes. you're one of those weirdos that wants to share with your family instead of look at several screens of porn at once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's up to you though. That's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is yeah. America, dude. And you could be selfish and just look at porn. Yeah. Just like Denise Crosby. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Till DeSantis comes for a porn, dude. That's when we're going to fucking storm the Capitol, dude. I'm down, dude. It's, we'll storm Florida. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, we want our porn back. Is that all you want? Yes, dude. I feel like it's too late. What states have... Was Florida not one of them? I, I'm. It's not my state yet. Uh, I think it started oh. with Louisiana and uh, oh, weird. Oh, so Louisiana, there, Louisiana, yeah. you got to enter your ID. States Fucking. that require ID for porn. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> doing that? Can you imagine like? Oh my god! It's it's actually six different name uh, the shitty states they name all six all shitty right, states i want to know which oh which it's states. seven i'm sorry seven. oh boy Holy it's seven shitty states go ahead name them okay wait 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 hold on before you say these states mm-hmm. if you are a listener in these states please email us with what your workaround is and <laughs> yeah. how you how you go about your life yeah mm-hmm. now go how you okay. go about masturbating <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> on a Louisi- daily basis. Louisiana was oh, the first state not to, Louisiana. to require an ID yeah. from residents. State. Not Next. surprised. <laughs> uh, second, then it was Florida, Florida, Clear. Kansas, okay. Dakota, Oof. West Virginia, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Virginia. <laughs> Which Dakota? Uh, South Dakota. North is fine. You North know what's is crazy, fine? dude? You know okay. what's crazy? Oh you know what's crazy is all these fucking states have shitty fucking sports teams. <laughs> and, like, what else do you have to do but match so, so you have the, shitty sports Specifically teams. for Arkansas, Mississippi, and Virginia, uh, they are close to passing, but it seems like they will probably pass, at least at the time of this article being written. It's not protecting anybody, dude. Okay, so these are all, like, measures on ballots, then. Some of them are actually enforced So what now. are the oh, states that have? Uh, another one is Montana. Montana, actually. Montana begins enforcement, actually began enforcement this year. This state is messy. I don't know what we're talking about. They don't even have Montana? They don't even have a fucking professional professional sports team at all. So so what are the states (laughs) that 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 have it in place right now? So it is, I'm just trying to double check because some of these articles are outdated in terms of. Check your fucking news aggregator, yeah. Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> what is it good for? Nothing, apparently, dude. 
Uh, oh, okay. There's a website called pornverificationstates.com. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course. Like, someone there must be someone it. out there who is trying to, you know, be on, on top the, of this. On the beat. Okay, yeah. let's okay. go. What so states? these, oh my, some of this is surprising. So these are the 17 states that have passed. 17? Yeah, passed or introduced bills requiring age verification. Or okay. introduced, it casts a wide net though. Okay, yes. let's go with passed. Introduced. Let's just go with passed. Let's go with passed. Okay. It's actually surprisingly uh, disparate. In let's spend at least five more minutes on this. <laughs> okay, so according to Focus on the Family, uh, <laughs> oh, look, in order for me to focus on the family, we have to have this okay. done. So, so these are the 10 verified ones so far. Okay. okay. So Florida. Oh, wow. Indiana, Louisiana, wow. Utah, Montana, North Carolina, Virginia, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Texas. So these are passed. These are signed. Oh, how come they're, they're all different states than what you named earlier? <laughs> Because those well, states, because those, those were states, probably older, like no, an older and article. those states were in the middle of about to do it, and then were shut down. For example, That's the Florida lot. bill. I mean, I do remember there was an earlier version of that bill that DeSantis turned down, and then later he signed this bill. So that's probably so why. So if you are in those states, please reach out to contact at newbiestartrek dot com and let us know what you do and how you function. What's your workaround? And do you use ExpressVPN? And if, if if you don't, I mean, hey, sign up. I'm surprised at some of the states that are trying to pass it. New Jersey is trying to. What New the fuck, oh New Jersey? Oh, God. Come on. This <laughs> is mean, that's, ridiculous. That's just their legislature trying to pass it. <laughs> My God. That's a, actually, with that list, that's actually very surprising. I didn't realize it was that many Soon states. it's going to be so many states that you have to actually switch the VPN to a different country. <laughs> no. You'll have to switch to Canada. Uh, be the would, way. Oh my you God. gotta switch the country that's free, dude. <laughs> that's insane. Australia. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you get really. You know, we should we should get into it. We should get into it. We're uh, we're really in the weeds anyway, on this thing. Anyway, but um, it's it's important. We have to know. We this is important legislation to important. watch out for. You think you think the enterprises the enterprise fucking regulates who watches porn, who doesn't, dude? Nah, Ricardo. Nah. Ricardo, nah. look at. Look at what Jordy you managed to make out of yeah, thin air. There's yeah. no regulations. Yeah. And Barkley, what did Barkley make out of thin air? He made yeah, that so song. Clearly, they don't regulate the Gnarls, Gnarls yeah. Barkley song. Yeah, yeah, they don't regulate shit. I think it's called Crazy the song. Yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this episode is a fun episode. Hi, Jinx and Sue. Another script idea that was bought. So this was another uh, specs. It wasn't a full script, but it was a wow. story idea that was bought. And they pay these people, right? How is it like a nickel? Is it handsomely? <laughs> is it like <laughs> well? I do we scale, Sarah. It, it, there's there's a writers union. <laughs> no, but these are submission. Like, are these submissions yeah, they, for people? Still, still, people they on still the still writers. Specs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know the rules. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hopefully oh they God. get. So, hopefully they get some kind of. Um, what do you call it? Um, What's the word with the R? Residuals? Residuals. There we go. Yeah, they would have to according to union yeah. rules. So. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So I'm not sure. So where are these fools coming from? Are they were they, were they on leave? They were they were in another like like planet, right? So that's the weird part. So it turns out they, they are they were on leave, but like this was the group that went on leave together. No, I feel like they they all like took a bus to the same planet that they wanted to just go on vacation. Well, they clearly with. took a shuttle because they're using a yeah. shuttle to get back. Well, I meant like the shuttle as a bus. You know, like they they they're just using it as a mode of transportation. Then they all but went to the weird, same planet. This is a weird group to be. It is a up. very odd group. Yeah. Yeah, Picard and his three women. Yeah. <laughs> when, the, when this episode first opened up, I was like, what a strange um, ensemble. It, like, it almost works until you throw Keiko in there. And you're like, why is Keiko here? Yeah, Keiko has no business there. <laughs> and also, yeah. she's not with said, Miles. Can I come to? She's not with Miles, and she's not with her. Yeah, baby. she went without Miles because Miles fucking hates plants. So. No, they need, they, they, Miles couldn't come because he needed to have an awkward scene with her later. Uh, yeah. Also, he's he's the one who managed to save them with the transporter. So, That's yeah. True. What, if you, yeah. Miles saved them. The day well him yeah. and fucking and uh what's his name Statham. uh the jason statham Mr. exactly statham? how could you forget um, his name uh, well like, sometimes i i, I think of uh, chef chelios i'm ashamed of you <laughs> I, sometimes i call them call him by by his uh his character's name oh che chelios chef chelios <laughs> um all right so here's the thing so already you sometimes you call him by his character name crank yeah <laughs> crank 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 the boy uh, too yeah <laughs> Brahms. Uh, so here's the thing. They're on their way back and like 
stupid fucking Picard's like nerding out over fucking. By the way, artifacts. <laughs> look at all these archaeological finds yeah. that I'm touching with yeah. my yeah. Bare hands. jaw. Yeah, <laughs> look, look, touch yeah. it, touch it. Don't wear gloves. You have to touch it with your bare hands. Here's the thing about fucking Picard. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's just like the British Museum, just stealing shit <laughs> from other cultures. Do. Yeah, he just fucking stole yeah. that shit. Yeah. yeah, from the planet. Yeah, with his bare hands. And it's almost like he's enjoying the tactile touching of it more than like the historical aspect of it. He keeps being like, oh, look, it's in perfect condition as he's like rubbing it. <laughs> Finally, one for France. He stole it. Yeah. And, and, um, Dan. And, and the Keiko's got plants. It's probably weed, if we're being honest. <laughs> and I don't know what fucking Kaylin was doing over there. What, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know why she you... was doing. Yeah. Um, um, aren't and, her and Roe best? friends or besties no no they're not i guess um, so i don't know what Rose is doing either yeah she's just the pilot they hired to <laughs> maybe <laughs> okay to, to be fair guinan has probably spent more time on screen with Rose than a lot of other people yeah like, yeah and, and and guinan uh but they're is, not besties is, no yeah, expl- in the episode Rose shows up she explicitly goes we're friends now so like okay. you know they're, they're, yeah you know. it's it's a strange ensemble of cast uh, in the opening but then you know we get we just, you know. I do think it's funny that kids. like Keiko's <laughs> like, oh, I didn't know you're into plants row. And she's like, no, I'm not. And she goes, no, oh, I hate plants. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's funny is that she she says that after Ro misidentifies the plant. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I didn't yeah. know um, you were into plants, but not that much. She's like, no one on this ship is into plants. <laughs> Miles definitely one. hates plants. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then they go through this little timey wimey thing and the ship's going to get destroyed and they transport explained? them. Huh? I just what? realized, was this like weird? The like, blue the blue orb? Thing? Yeah. No, was that, it's, I wasn't. It's another, it's another solar baby. This is random? Was it just random? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> just an energy field. I, I just realized it doesn't yeah. play into the rest of the plot at all. At all. No, <laughs> at all. At all. Nothing. Yeah. Just, they, they never go, hey, that that could be the fountain of youth. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just randomly Nothing. happened. Just okay. like, yeah, fine. Yeah. Uh, so they they go and they get transported before the ship falls apart and they show up and they're they're like in their what, like 12, 13, like t- in their early teens? I think right? they range from 10 to 12 years old. So it somehow makes them into little children again in their mm-hmm. big mm-hmm. little clothes. Picard. Well, not, are they children or, or teenagers? I think, uh, I think, I think Bever- teenagers pre- is like officially after pre-teen. Either pre-teen. 13. Pre-teens or yeah. tweens. I think, well, I think <sighs> Roe says, Beverly said, I'm 12. So, you know, yeah. it feels like they range 12. from like 10 to 12. That's yeah, like yeah. their. All right. So, yeah. um, but also that's weird because you can say for Keiko, Picard, and probably Ro that them a- de aging a certain amount would mm-hmm. lead to that child state, right? Mm-hmm. But what about Guinan? Guinan is a completely different species. She's an Elorian. Yeah, Orion. I don't know. That's how what I was thinking. Yeah. I, I, I wish they would have kept her like, like, like. She's actually her, like yeah. still, still Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm so much younger now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> she's how like, far she's back like, did that reach? <laughs> they, she should have. She should have been like the same as 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 her character, but then like done like cartwheels. I'm like, I, I couldn't do this before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Arthritis is gone. Yeah, yeah. She's like, <laughs> she's like, it looks like the model of a modern major general. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so this is before she became a drunk and ran yeah, a bar. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like, so the, oh, they're all kids now, and Picard's got fucking hair, dude. Oh yeah. And and he's like, I got hair everywhere. Um, and so <laughs> everyone's like freaking out and like <laughs> fucking Riker's like, what the fuck, dude? And he like the captain's like giving orders and shit, and he's mm-hmm. like freaking out. Mm-hmm. Um and then the captain's like, hey, I'm going to go to the bridge. You stay here. Let Beverly figure it out. And uh, we'll, we've got to go for this, save those people that were mm-hmm. in danger. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, there's there's a, a group of people on the planet. Picard, Picard retakes control. Yeah. He's like, I and, still got to do and, stuff. Yeah. And he goes to the bridge and he starts barking orders. And everyone's like, what the fuck is this kid doing, dude? <laughs> and finally, Beverly shows up and she's like, hey, let me talk to you, dude. And I like that he immediately get it, gets it. Like, I like that the fact that, like, I... I would have hated if they gave them like the mentality of a child. Mm. You know I mean? yeah. 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 At least this, they maintained their yeah. They explicitly their are still there. Yeah. He yeah. I do appreciate that about the episode yeah. overall yeah. that they did not just, you know, resort to, well, let's have them act like impudent little, yeah. little bastards. Yeah. And immediately Picard's like, oh, are you here to take away my command? You know? And But should 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 she have? 
I don't know uh, if I well, agree. Well, well, here's the thing is that like she kind of makes a point that and I agree with it that like they don't quite know the effects of this thing that they went through. Right. But they, they very revert? soon do. They yeah, very soon. but it's it's the very it's the very first time in yeah. the show's like history so far that they're doing what Ricard always says they should be doing, which is being yeah. preca- like taking precautions. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yes. that's true. That's true. Like, what if what if he his mind goes back and, yeah. and he's still in charge? You know, that was like, one that of her points. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So so he gives command to Riker, and he's like, "Hell yeah, dude! I'll do I'll do you right, dude." And so uh, Riker's in charge and they're, they're trying to get, they're trying to figure out what to do with these kids and how to fix it and stuff. And they all, they're, they're all having a, um, like a moment. So like Keiko, um, Keiko Keiko's goes the to weird see one. That's, the, that's yeah. the really uncomfortable scene. Yeah. Cause she's married, right? To, <laughs> to know, Miles O'Brien. You know what went through my mind like later on? I was like, wait a minute. When Miles noticed that he lost 40% of the transporting mass as they were coming in, he said, I might've lost one of them. He doesn't seem all that concerned that his <laughs> wife might be dead. Yeah, yeah. No. He's not like, oh no, Keiko, Keiko. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, Keiko. he doesn't. He yeah. doesn't seem too stressed. But maybe in that position, you kind of have to he, remain. Uh, well, you know what? You keeps know what? Getting brought up. Uh, yeah. You know why, Sarah? Why? Because he's a fucking professional. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. He is. That he is, is a pro- fucking professional. And, and thank fucking God, all the clothes shrink perfectly. Thank God. Yeah. 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 And I and guess yes. if, if, Statham, <laughs> if Statham would have been there, he would have been like, if Miles O'Brien would have lost it, he would have been like, oh, fuck you, mate. Bam, Ryan House kick. <laughs> Straightens him out, dude. But here's the thing. <sighs> what what would have happened? It's funny because they, they talk it out, right? Her, mm-hmm. Keiko and him talk it out. Like, like he's like, oh, is our marriage over? Like, like Yes. That's uh, interesting. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. stop you right there. That's, that's a, yeah. easy, that's a, easy answer right there. It's a fascinating talk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there any hesitation on that? I, I would no, 100% no, no. say yes. It's over. Well, I mean, she still has to take care of the kid. You know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you still have uh, a baby together. Like, what do you do? Yeah. But there's also, like, I would say... um the capacity in which she can take care of the kid would probably have to change due to like physical limitations and things. Like, what are you talking about? I mean, was there's, she like there's children half that that children's age that are out plowing fields and shit, dude? Well, I mean, like, was she <laughs> like sneakers. was she like yeah. breastfeeding this kid? She probably can't do that anymore. Was you she think, like wait, wait, Sarah? You think she's breastfeeding that giant ass fucking oh, kid? Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talking yeah, already? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, I grew up at the speed knows? of a Klingon. <laughs> That's true. She's Molly is now. Yeah. Sub- Suddenly, like three years old. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'd say more but, like maybe one and a half, almost two. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel, but also the kid doesn't recognize her. So how do you explain that? It to doesn't him? matter. You mean yeah, like, this is a, your it, new mom? This it is, is very young complicated. Mom. It's like what do we it's do? Complicated. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, complicated. it's a very difficult question that they pose because it's so difficult. Well, the only difficult part is uh, in what capacity is she a mom? Now, in what capacity if she is she a wife? That's an easy. That's not difficult at all. That's that's a no. That's a no. Yeah, problem. that's. It's just that's an yeah. easy question yeah in my opinion well, i mean she could like, stay married and then when when she when she gets older like it's like all right well now i have um, a really young looking wife i guess who's 18 I guess it's, like I mentally guess it's more, that's always been yeah. the same i, I think, think it's more of like it's me. probably more of like well we probably we can't, can't live together this. anymore yeah uh so you'll just live elsewhere and when yeah. you are like back to 20 years old or whatever we'll just move back in together because you know he, she is mentally and emotionally the same person. Sure, yeah. yes, yeah. but I, also, we all, I mean, we, all I mean, we don't need to hash out why they can't live together. I, or, I mean, you know. but Sarah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, That's like, but think not... about it. Like mentally, how awful it is for her. Think yeah. about it for yeah, you. No, it's like, terrible. Like, it is, it yeah. is awful for you. It is awful. Like, what if yeah. what if Marvin was like? What if Marvin's like you're too you're, you're really young. You got to move out. Sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll move I back mean, to your parents. I'm that sorry. would be terrible, but I mean, I can understand uh, if I was in a and, 12, and, and he says, and he says, body, and he says, you have to leave the cats here. Do you can't take any cats <laughs> but your mom's for some body. reason? <laughs> yeah, for some reason, would, you can I never see the cats again. I would, I would <laughs> understand. I would like, understand. You're a minor. You can't take care of cats. Get the <laughs> I mean, fuck it's, out of here. It's terrible. I'm not trying to say that uh, it's not absolutely gut wrenchingly terrible, but. Yeah. I would definitely understand. Uh, I I definitely wouldn't try to do what she's doing when she like grabs his arm and tries yeah, to cuddle with that him w- and stuff. I get I, I get that really she's weird. going back into her old pattern. Yeah, but, but it is like I think oh, she has to oh. recognize like what's the what's the situation. Like this is day one, bro. 
like I don't it, know. yeah, right. she, she's exactly t- like that. That's my read on it too, because like this is still Miles and Keiko. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she, also, also I don't know. mentally, she she oh, think about it. Like, look, I'm not I'm not pushing any agenda here. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> mentally, I'm putting myself in her shoes. Like, mentally, I'm fucked up. I'm like compromised yes. because like I don't know. Am I gonna get back to normal? Like. And now, That's like, true. I'm questioning as well, like, oh, fuck, do I have to, like, move out? Or, like, could we, what, about like, what do we do? Yeah. What about my kid? Yeah. And, oh, my gosh, she doesn't recognize me. Like, there's so many things besides the fact that, like, there's yeah. a lot of bullshit that we're talking about that's, mm-hmm. like, way down the line where it's more like, let me emotionally figure out where the fuck I am. You know? Also, we've established in the past that Miles and Keiko already didn't know each other very well. No, no. And this so makes they could, it they even could, worse. They could, yeah. <laughs> well, they, well, this is also easy for them to just be like, all right, move to your mom. Your mom's a little bit. And I mean, yeah. I'm glad that this script seemed to, uh, Definitely push yeah. Miles in the direction, the right, <laughs> the right direction, where he wasn't like going down a weird path. Because I was definitely yeah. worried for a moment. I was like, "Oh no!" L- L- what show, do, what show do you think you're watching, dude? <laughs> I've also th- seen th- this I've seen some Hollywood shows. <laughs> I've seen some weird questionable stuff on Star Trek before, so I don't know. It was 50-50 for me. I'm yeah. not sure. He's also visibly confused from the moment he shows yeah, up in that yeah. scene. So yeah, like he's I think confused, he's uncomfortable. He's everything you'd expect someone in his position to be. He's yeah. he's like he's like I can't look at Picard with that fucking hair, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Like it brought them back, right? And it yeah. like for Keiko, Ensign Rowe, and Guinan, it like kind of kept their hair as it was. But for Picard, it brought back hair, right? What yeah. if he preferred him bald? Yeah. What if it kept his hair as he was older? Yeah. <laughs> He's like That's a young, bald wanted. kid with a clear, like, balding crown line. And, 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 and Riker's like, you never had hair? And he's like, never had hair. No. Never had uh, hair. Uh, no, this, this, the, French, the French are born this way. When they, I wish, I wish the kid that played him. from birth. <laughs> I wish the kid who played him was French instead of British. <laughs> He has a he has an inexplicable like deep yeah. French accent. He's like, oh, what, are you, what are you talking about, Riker? Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, you are in command now, Riker. Um, <laughs> so, so there's that awkward stuff with Keiko and stuff, and then I guess because they don't have significant others, Kaylin and Ro had a thing where they were like, they just like hang she, out. She, yeah, she was like, I didn't have a childhood, and she's like, well, be, act like a kid more, you know, like have fun, like you know, you have no responsibilities right now. It's just funny because she's like you know be a kid be happy and she's like when i was a kid i was in a refugee camp <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. i never had anything fun <laughs> it rem- like a lot of this episode reminded me of uh kid stuff from jlu um, oh yeah 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 but yeah, then yeah. you know that came after and i'm sure that the writers of that show had seen this episode enough times i wish it was a different character uh, that's only weak part of the of the episode is the row and Kalen part Ga- galen galen it part. is it is like the like Guinan. kind of really Guinan. <laughs> I just don't bother to correct it anymore. Uh, <laughs> it's just that if he bothers to correct himself and it's still wrong, I don't know if it's like earnest or not. So I'll, I'll toss it up. Uh, but it's like they go down the really corny path of, well, now that you're a kid, you should act like a kid. Let's yeah, jump no, on that, the bed. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, I, don't like that. Like, I, okay. I wish it would have been well, another character. Like, um, I don't know. Well, you can't do data. But like anybody yeah, else, would be another, Jordy? Like, oh, Jordy would have been fun. Yeah, and he came back yeah. with his visor too big. Yeah. And, they had to and he's get like, like ah, a new visor. I can't see shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, if it was anything like Guinan's head, it would just shrunk with him. And he keeps trying to pick up on ladies. He's like, hey, ladies. And he, <laughs> <laughs> <With that accent. laughs> yeah, yeah, he's acting like one of the Marx Brothers. Uh, yeah, like Groucho. He sounds like Groucho. No, he comes out sounding exactly like Steve Urkel. Yeah, I was about to say he's just he just turns into Urkel <laughs> or, or or Stefan. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Doctor Brahms. I think uh, this was an interesting I'm ensemble. It down. I would have. I I like this. I like seeing oh, Ro and Guinan Worf. this way. A baby Worf. Dude. Well, we kind of oh, got it with Alexander like, a little yeah. bit. Okay. Alexander so, was so, so, in for the kid. Yeah, Worf yeah. you can get other like little kids analogs in there you got yeah. alexander get that little cholo kid that tried to be data yeah <laughs> they should have brought him back that would have been sick oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's they a, bring all the kids eyes. back oh he, man they bring the in those bridge kids. crew they yeah. bring back the kids who were stuck in the turbo lift just bring all yeah. the kids back yeah <laughs> so forever red kid edition <laughs> i'm gonna just skip over i'm gonna skip over um guinan's and rose <laughs> i got it right see Guinan's uh, storyline because it really goes nowhere. It's about like getting in touch basically, with your Basically, Guinan's youth. being like, you should act like a kid. And Rose like, yeah. I don't want to act like Just a kid. lighten up and forget your stupid traumatic childhood. Yeah. 
So this is what happens. Basically, they kind of figure out like halfway through the episode, like, hey, we got to send them back to the transporter and have Jason Statham kick the yeah. shit out of it. <laughs> it'll, it'll zap it back. When Jason Statham kicks yeah. the shit out of these 12 year olds, <laughs> yeah. they'll turn back into <laughs> they'll adults. Tr- they'll suffer so much pain that they'll age <laughs> 20 years. And it's easy to explain that this time, the way that it worked is the transporter just somehow clipped off their puberty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Their puberty DNA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're like, hey, we'll send them back. We'll do the, the timey-wimey stuff and they'll be back to normal. Uh, but we could kill them. But that's Beverly's MO. Like, yeah, it's like, like I'll either cure them or kill them. There's no in between. I give you three options. Leave yeah. them as is. You kill them. Yeah. Or, or we bring it back to adults. You know, it's funny. Yeah. So Ronald Moore described himself as like a liberal arts hippie idiot. So he doesn't know anything about science. Oh, so boy. he said, oh, I want to know if there is a scientific explanation for how this could happen. So he like consulted a scientist and all that. And they said, no, there's there's no way. <laughs> so he just made up the, the riboviroxic nucleic sequence is a completely made up term. There's no such thing that exists in the human body. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh fantastic so they figured it out or early on like really early on and they're like well we'll try that later because mm-hmm. they got other fish to fry mm-hmm. uh and then all of a sudden they get boarded uh well uh, well one of those are they are they klingon ships no they're um they, were, yeah, they were they were they were klingon burner yes. no, wait, 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 we were, passed over yeah. we passed over that scene where uh deanna visits picard in his quarters Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that scene? And oh. and she's like, well, you know, if you're not going to be a captain, oh, right, look right, at this yeah. other stuff you might be oh, able to yeah, do. Yeah. And as soon as she suggests going back to the academy, it's like, be Wesley's roommate. I'd rather die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he, but she yeah. does suggest, hey, go to archaeology. And he's like, oh, I could like, do archaeology he, for he's decades. A, he's a question. <laughs> and then like, he mentions a Dr. Langford, who I assumed would be Vash, but it's not Vash. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Well. I thought it was Vash, but I looked it up. I was like, oh, that's not her. He's okay. like, you're telling me I could do at least a decade of stealing of more relics. <laughs> yeah. So I have a question for the group. If you could go back to being that age, is there a different path you would take now that you have a little bit more knowledge? I would just do a lot more crime before I turned 18. <laughs> A lot more crime. Yeah. I mean, right. uh, now that uh, I am not a Wait, adult age again. Wait, do you go back again. in time too or do you just de-age? No, no, Like de-age. Like exactly their situation. Like you get those years back. Like if you knew that you were going to still grow up. But oh, you, hell no. You know, <laughs> get that away from me. Don't even let yeah, that happen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, but wouldn't also happen. you can't. Like, there's no way to redo your old decisions from here though. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the thing. You can't redo them. You're basically. No, no, but you can choose a different path is what I'm saying. Well, yeah. How not could really. you choose a different you're, path? You're still on the same path technically. Yeah. Well, no. It's all over. No, like you can. So, like Picard. Picard is like he can go explore archaeology. Yeah, I get or what you mean. I get what you mean. Else. I don't want. I don't want to start all over. To... No, I, I, I'm already too broken down to do I that think, bullshit. I think even but for can, Picard. Well, he... knowing what you know now, you can make different decisions. I would rob a bank because I wouldn't be charged <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> so okay, so y- Ricardo says more crime before 18th as yeah. before 18 as a juvenile because you would do not also that much more time. carbs because I probably have a high metabolism. <laughs> well, also for Picard, the only reason he isn't continuing to be a captain is because he thinks the hurdle of overcoming the way he looks would be too difficult. I mean, yeah. like, he technically could continue just being a captain. He Nothing's just get a mustache. It. Mustache. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I agree, though. I think the hurdle is quite a big one to clear. To but be it, will be, it will be a big one to clear for almost any field he joins afterward. Yeah. Some more than others, I think. I mean, it's um, also kind of weird that considering that Starfleet is a... Uh, it's an organization of aliens. Yeah, they should be they very should be understanding. Yeah. Weird shit sometimes. But I think yeah. some more than I, others, oh, like I agree. people. I agree like, with that. People having a child in a commander position is is a little more difficult to digest than him being an archaeologist on a team of archaeologists. But he's only physically a child. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I know but, that, but, but, it, I, people, but they bring people, it up. There's a mental block. People like yeah, are, but but they know, would forget about it in a couple of years. No, I I don't. I think there what are people so? out there that would would not be able to get then exactly would, like Deanna says or Beverly or whoever I would they send say the there's gulag. some there are some people that would not be able to get past it then I would be like I'm in command if you don't want to get fucking in line dude you're going to the gulag dude <laughs> I just think that you could spend that time doing something else that sounds appealing to me no I would me. definitely do that 
And then uh, it's like taking you, a little you, break. Here's the thing. You still have all your debt and all, all your problems. You still have them mentally. You just That's you also just, true. There's yeah. no what if all of a sudden you're now, uh, what if the only thing that's changed is now you're too young to work, but you still have all your debt? Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no, they don't have yeah, yeah, debt. Yeah, yeah. There's no money. There's no income. There's no salary. There's well, no I mean, if it happened food, to us, no you, you, you had posited yeah. the idea that it happens to us. Yeah. yeah. If it happens to us. And nothing else about our condition has changed other than we are now physically 12. I'm not, I'm not getting a that, stipend from the government. That makes life actually considerably difficult in some yeah. ways. Uh, Probably, <laughs> yeah. Can't fucking vote, you know? I guess the government might still legally consider you of the age you were before you de-aged. So you probably would still be. I mean, Lord Marvin, knows there's know large you, parts of the United he, States that supports if, child labor anyway. So. I, don't know, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to do anything at the DMV. <laughs> it would be yes. a fucking nightmare, dude. Well, yeah. we, know, nightmare. we know in our world it's not possible, but imagine you were in Star Trek world. Like, well, yeah, that, that's how you sense. posed it, though. This is another scenario, though. Well, I'm so saying, no, like, in, yes, now I'm saying, because obviously in our modern day world, the government Star people Trek would world. just not want to know what to do. I, I would just not be a cap. Fuck being a captain, first of all. I don't want to be I would a do so. I would do something else. <laughs> I would do something else. Yeah, 100%. I, I would, would probably go exploring. Archaeology sounds cool. I would do that. I would just I like, would just do lots of holodeck time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Why not yeah. holodeck time? <laughs> a lot of holodeck time, if you know what I mean. You have all the opportunity to go do something in space, the universe. I don't yes, know. You but, could do but whatever. A holodeck can make space. You, 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 you seem to forget oh like how mentally exhausted I am already. <laughs> The the things I've seen on the Enterprise, dude. The people that that fucking Beverly has killed has taken a toll on my soul. <laughs> I'm and filled I with can't trauma. Start, yeah, I'm filled with trauma. I can't start. Yeah, like over. in this very episode, we yeah. hear about all sorts of casualties. I don't yeah. want any part of that. Literally, a surprising still, like, number of casualties. She, she says, <laughs> mass casualties. casualties. Heavy casualties. Yeah, I know. People were saying in the past, casualties doesn't mean death. I'm pretty sure it means death once they start saying heavy casualties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not saying a lot of casualties. Casualties, but not a lot of people dying. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. I, to me, this does me no good. Mentally, being the same as I am now, I think it does me I the can. most good. If I also am angry, back in time. I'm just and I'm, I'm just an angry teen now. Yeah. If you also go back in time, then we're talking. Then yeah, we can talk then it's about like, oh, we could do all sorts of cool stuff. decisions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like if you take yeah. your knowledge back but, in time with you, that's something. Yeah. Even then, I'm like, ah, fuck, dude. Well, why bother? No, nothing matters. I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking off myself. Just make the same choices, <laughs> exact same choices, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Fair. So here's the thing: these fucking ghouls. What are they? What are they, what are they again? The Ferengi. Ferengi. Yeah. yeah. So these ghouls take over uh, the the ship, and they're the rogue Ferengi. They they fucking wreck this them. The, this is the most threatening yeah. they've yeah. ever been. Yeah, this These is guys I, are organized. They show guns blazing yeah. and two stolen Klingon birds actually, of prey. I didn't think that the Ferengi were capable of this kind of to yeah, take over the is, Enterprise well, these, like this. These are the best of the best. Like these like, are like fucking Eric Roberts movie. <laughs> It, These are it's, like the it's out of place. Yeah. yeah. This is very out of place of how, especially since they're rogue Ferengi, they're so well organized uh, until yeah. they're not. Uh, right. <laughs> they're like well organized for the initial assault. And then, I wish it was, I wish it was, it was a different race. Well, apparently they intentionally chose the Ferengi because they were like, well, we couldn't really imagine any other race being taken down by children. Uh, mm, fair because the yeah, Frankie so. can seem incompetent in person i guess so. whereas guess like so. if they were like romulans it would have been like oh well kill them all kill them all the romulans would just like just kill the children yeah <laughs> yeah kill the children and they're just dead weight they won't make good slaves so let's yeah. just kill the children now yeah. and get it over with so half of the people get taken down to the mines right yeah uh, there's there, and, it turns out there's mines yeah, yeah they're mining fucking shit dude yeah. and then and then these ghouls are like all right turn over and but but Riker gets smart and he's like lock it down omega level lockdown yeah lock it down boom and then like the computers get locked down and then the summer friend are like what the fuck dude unlock this shit and he's like nah you don't know the code <laughs> You don't know the code. Yeah, that's a smarter decision than most other episodes we've seen. Yes, I know, yes. I know. That's a great Riker's thing to like, do this, in that moment. Riker's like, we. This has happened enough times. We 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 made a protocol finally. Yeah, where, yeah like people yeah. are being smart this time. I love this episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, they're they're actually following normal protocols. 
Yeah. And which is, did, which is and, weird and to us. They got overwhelmed because of the amp. Although I still think on the bridge, there was like 10 Enterprise crew members. I feel like, like they could have taken like, them. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, wait, like, couldn't they lock it down? Like immediately yeah. when they're like, there's people like beaming in, uh, have a protocol where you're like, lock the doors, dude. Yeah. And I then, feel like they, as soon as they detect someone unauthorized beaming on board, they should instantly put a force field around them and be yeah, like, why not? Can't here's the thing. Here's it the takes thing. enough time. Here's uh, a crazy idea. I tell, there's a protocol on the computer yeah. that anybody new that beams in mm-hmm. immediately gets diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. That gives you a good like 10 For minutes. For the Frankie, that doesn't matter. They'll be like, whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a normal day. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But we shit but our pants about it. on the daily anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, like hardcore diarrhea, where it's like it's like making you kill over a little bit. Because oh, it's then, like, 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 like Montezuma's revenge level yeah. of diarrhea, where it's like, just like you eat m- milk and you're lactose intolerant, where you're getting <laughs> those pains in your stomach. Yeah, and yeah. and it would give you like a good five, three to five minutes to really go in there and just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But some kind of protocol like that, like the diarrhea yeah, yeah. protocol, or like make everybody like sneeze, you know, like a, mm-hmm. think about a sneezing fit. Yeah. I've had like 10 sneezes in a row and I'm like, <laughs> I can't do anything right now. Mm-hmm. Your chest just, is broken. Barely you, you, breathe. Yeah. 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 If, you, if yeah. you sneeze, did a hard sneeze 10 times in a row, you might legitimately like break your chest bone. Like it's a thing. Oh yeah. yeah. People definitely have uh, broken ribs and things. Yeah. 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 So unauthorized transporter Sneezing. protocol, it instantly stuffs their nose with pepper and they just oh. Yeah, so they just, dude, they just it's, it's like, no, it's like a, it's like a three prong attack, like the devil, dude. It's <laughs> one is diarrhea, uh-huh. two is sneezing, uh-huh. and three, oh God. three, uh-huh. three is, is a force field that no. they're trapped in. So no. all the diarrhea is trapped in no, them. Dude. No, no, <laughs> your ears get clogged up with wax, you, and you can't. You know how like it's like ugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. That uh, sounds so anyway, terrible. We've all been there. We've all been there. Clogged with wax. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Don't get me started. It, 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 not being able to hear is the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. If you if you have the ability, to but hear. it should be clogged asymmetrically. So one is clogged However, more dude. than the other. So it's okay. really annoying. So You're your like, equilibrium oh. is off. Yeah. Yeah, too. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, You're dizzy. Okay. So they start beating people down and Riker's in the uh, conference room or whatever mm-hmm. you call it. And Picard is like, he's trying to use the children's computer, like the regular <laughs> yeah. computer. He's like, show me the schematics of the ship. It's like, I do like it's a different voice where it's yeah. like, a <laughs> and, and uh, it's like some cheery man. Finally, yeah, yeah. who is it? Like, uh, Guinan? Mm-hmm. Is she the one who figures it out? Like, Hey, you got to ask it like, it's like you're a child basically. Yeah. 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 And so they kind of figure out a little bit of the, the schematics and they start planning, dude, like the fucking 18 dude. Yeah. And Picard's like, all right, so we're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to use a Roomba to do this and that. Mm-hmm. And they, they start figuring out how to do it. And then this it's is like a, funny- a mild home alone style sequence. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah mildly. Yeah. 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 The whole thing is like, we're going to have to start thinking like yeah. children. He's all, you know? he's all, get me a large construction abilities. paper and a crayon. I'm going to dry it out. <laughs> 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 and so they yeah. get everybody involved. They get fucking, uh, Alexander. Timmy. Alexander. Um, yeah. Alexander's like, Oh, sorry, captain. Oh, you're part of the crew now, Alexander. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you might die, Alexander. And then Picard's like, uh, oh, right. Worf's a dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We should that give- That was one of my favorite parts of the episode was the inclusion of Alexander and so many- You know what they really should have done? Once they realized Alexander was there, they're like, wait a minute. Alexander knows how to use a bothleth. Yeah. We should just give him one and have him fucking kill everyone. Yeah. And <laughs> see what he can do. Let, really let him loose. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was in that simulation. He, yeah. he was like fighting off aliens twice his size. He knew what was up, Yeah. Dude. Let him be a warrior. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let him pop his off. His dad would have been so proud. Yeah, yeah oh it would have been so sick. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, now he like he was in charge of getting like fucking some bullshit. Um, yeah. but anyway, the captain's like, "Oh, I need to see my dad," and he throws a tantrum. Yeah, yeah. I want to see my dad. <laughs> uh, and he finally take him, and, and he gives. Riker, I want like, to the see code. my daddy. <laughs> he gives him. He gives him the uh, the old code. Uh-huh. Uh, he basically says, "Hey, turn on the computers in the kids' room, if you know what I mean." And let us engage with the grenades. That's what <laughs> well, but I love that scene though, where he's like, uh, "Yeah, I need to see my dad, Riker." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to see my daddy now. He goes daddy to now. hug Riker. That's, oh, yeah. it's great. It's, it's a oh, great yeah. like. He's my horse. number one That's dad. Yeah, yeah. They have to act like they love each other. And that was great. With their father yeah. and son. It's yeah. a great scene. I love and it. Riker's quietly going in his mind. Oh. I've always wanted to hug Picard. It's finally yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> finally, finally, he let me. Um, and they fucking overpower these goddamn Ferengi, dude. 
these ghouls still stood no chance, dude. Yeah. Um, and one by one, they start putting them in the uh, transporter, like force field, which yeah, they yeah. should have done from the beginning. As soon as they beamed in, beam them back, dude. Beam them back. And then Riker tricks them into letting him use the computer yeah. by like, he's trying to fake teach him and he just makes up a bunch of shit. Yeah. Uh. He's like, you, you guys use bidets? Because this, you got to know what the bidet system is. Oh, don't, just like, don't overload the bidet reactor. Because yeah, yeah. if you overload the bidet yeah. reactor while you're sitting on the bidet, yeah. oh my Bro, God. I get a huge <laughs> explosion of diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. You remember yeah, how yeah. it was when you got here? <laughs> <laughs> So he starts making up words, dude. He's like, the flux yeah. capacitor. We have three flux capacitors throughout the ship. <laughs> Only two of them are, are usable. The third one is and just And one for of show. them always just lies, and one of them always tells <laughs> the truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we have an invisible swordsman. Every dude. time you have, have to start up the reactor, <laughs> it, it, it's just very like... <laughs> he could have really gone into like a Three Amigos bit where he's like... <laughs> and, then, and then you ask the invisible swordsman, you have to sing to him. He's like, parlay, parlay, parlay. <laughs> um, but finally, he gives them access and they, they do their fucking 18 business. Yeah. And yeah. they're all they're all turned back and they turn them back to normal. And then uh, Guinan uh, mm-hmm. goes to see Ro and Ro's still a child. And that fucking stupid storyline ends. That, that was only weak part. That it's like, I don't need to see this. This and is it's, boring. The fans speculated after this episode aired. And you don't know for sure because we yeah. haven't seen the next episodes. That Ro decided to stay a child because oh, you, never you never see her, see her again? For, for a little bit. Well, you never see her turn back. You Maybe never see Ro her again? Uh, what do you mean? I guess so you never I'm, see her become an adult within the confines of this episode. If she never appears I in the ass- show again. I mean, I assume in whatever next episode she would have. Sarah, Maybe we don't know this. Back. I mean, it's it's one of those like head cannony things you can always like just say. God, please one way do or the not other. do not let this show continue with her as a child. Please, <laughs> God, no. Why you not? Already did it. I swear to God, no. You you did did it You're the one who wanted to imagine this. Dragon no, Ball I'm, GT. For this episode, I'm good. After this, after this, like, okay, yeah, you I mean, can, you can stay a child for the next couple hours if you want. Then, they, then we they, gotta go back to reality. She was supposed to be the Wesley replacement, right? And Wesley was a mm. child so. yeah no please you don't you crazy star trek don't <laughs> do it <laughs> don't do it star trek <laughs> you do don't you. fucking do it i swear to god i will be so pissed but it runs back to normal and uh that's it they don't have to report it to anybody no right? they're fine no yeah. do they fine. report it to starfleet or no, whatever no. no dear starfleet we became children for a bit but then it's yeah. fine and then we were taken <laughs> over really easily by yes. gang by like six Ferengi yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh and, and they killed like half the ship's population yeah. <laughs> and also it turns out the only thing required to take down a Ferengi was one hammer fist to the back of the neck which yeah. I feel like Riker could have done any time uh, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah I, but I with a sufficient distraction yeah <laughs> I'm I, still, I don't, this, this, I don't this, understand. This episode this, still was fun, yeah. even though it was stupid. It was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tone, yeah. the tone of the episode forgives a lot of flaws for sure. Yes, it does. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. You know, what? I give it an eight and a half too. I only have the only complaint is the same one you brought up is that I think the the handling of the Guinan Row relationship is yeah. like yeah yeah get it. They're doing the, the whole be a kid again thing. I'm giving it a nine because it's dumb fun. Wow, to me. a nine! Oh my gosh, oh. Dan. But okay, as as weak as the Surprised. Row and Guinan story arc was i will give some props to guinan's actor oh yeah uh, kid mm-hmm. actor for doing her darndest to act like a young Whoopi goldberg and mostly pulling it off all the kids yeah. they're, they're kid actors they're doing okay yeah. They're, yeah they're not horrible you know that kid who plays picard he has a you know big set of you know he has i to- mean he has to get through a lot oh. of complicated lines and hit a lot of beats and it's yeah. You know, he does an admirable and, job of trying. And, and kind of do it in a picard e way. And he's he's most of the way there. He's doing they it. They let him cook, dude. And he cooked, you know? Yeah, he, he cooked. Yeah, There yeah. are times when he reminded me of Giles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where the performance was like yeah. kind of similarly yeah. stiff in certain it, ways. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Not that uh, kind of stiff. <laughs> I'm going to uh, give this episode an eight, I think, right. cool. because... I agree with you. The children were amazing. And usually sometimes the child acting on this show can be hit or miss. So I'm glad that on a child acting heavy episode, they found some really, really great ones. And yeah. they were really good. I especially loved Rose actor. Yeah, yeah. That, that young Rose. She mm-hmm. was fantastic. In she kind of reminds me of Alex Borstein. 
Uh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I could see that. And I thought, yeah, this was a really fun episode. Do you um, know who it, directed it? Tim no. Burton. Was it? It's the Tim- son of a famous poison. Really? The mm-hmm. name wow. of the person. Dom DeLuise? <laughs> the name of the director is Adam Nimoy. Oh. It's a Spock it's Spock's son. kid. Yeah. Oh, wow. Leonard oh. Nimoy's son, yeah. Directed. Nice. It was his really? first, it was his directorial debut. Uh, and the crew were like, yeah, sorry, this is your directorial debut because it's really hard to direct kids. Uh, but he did a really good job. That's yeah. fascinating. That's really yeah. good. The only thing that I take issue with, I think one of the major things I take issue with in this episode plot wise is... Why is it so easy for these Ferengi <laughs> to take over the Enterprise? It it speaks to the larger security issues we've <laughs> been saying over and over and over again on Star Trek. Like, I don't understand why yeah. it's so I easy mean, for them to take over a ship like this. This is a supposed to be a military grade ship, right? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Sort of. It's like their flagship, but it's not like explicitly designed for combat. No, uh, but it should here, be secure. Thing, we, 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 this is this is not anything. No, we, not, we've discussed yeah. this. This is bullshit. And where was backup? Fl- is there an alarm yeah. button that we can press? Like, where's the Carpathia? Where's the where's <laughs> people to the where's, Nina, the Pinta, and the yeah. Santa Maria? <laughs> where's yeah. backup? Where's the rescue yeah. ship? Like, I don't understand where the help is. Aren't we in the future? Can't we warp over? Like, I don't understand. No, no. Too, what's too, going too, on. Think, it would take too I, much time. I think in my head canon, I, I don't think. Get it. Two huh. birds of prey, them losing to two birds of prey is yeah, like possible, but it should have been three. If they were three birds of prey, I would have been like, oh yeah, they're fucked. They, they can't But then really they would have had to hire more Ferengi actors. Yeah. It, or it yeah, could have just been like the same number. there's like a handful of Ferengi people. There's like <laughs> yeah. five of them or something. Yeah, I think Send there's only back. like six Ferengi total. Yeah. But yeah. versus <laughs> two... So they took over two Klingon ships, and now they've taken over the Enterprise. That's a lot. That's a lot. Well, the Klingon ships they bought. They're apparently extra yeah. surplus Klingon what? ships. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I, 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 true, true, I yeah. thought that they. I thought that they took those over because I was no, like, no, damn, no, that's crazy. Because for some they, reason, they, the Klingons they, they are willing sale. to say. And to also, sell how off do you? How are you <laughs> able to buy a cl- a whole Klingon ship with all of its the, capabilities? These these, these fools are rich, dude. Like they have gold. Yeah, yeah, they're willing to so. sell their cloaking technology. I well, the the Klingons I, aren't known I for being just, like smart. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah. It just doesn't seem plausible that that would be able to happen nowadays. So I don't even know how that would happen this far. In the I give future. them the benefit of the doubt just because it was an ambush. Like it came out of nowhere, and for the a bush. second they didn't have shields up. So that sort of no, but like, like even. Yeah, and everyone know. was uh, thinking about Picard being a kid at the time. Yeah. Yeah, everyone was distracted. It just and seems very odd. He's like, oh, there's four kid. kids. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it just seems very odd. But other than that, very fun episode. Uh, yeah, I just was shocked at the Ferengi's um, strategy, strength, And they show ability. up out of I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked because this happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm shocked it was them. I'll say it happens all the time. I'm That's shocked also it was like, the Ferengi. Yeah, we haven't That's seen the Ferengi in a hot minute. So we're just yeah. like, like Usually when I see the Ferengi, I think, okay, bumbling. Uh, like Corn dogs. Walking around, kind of hitting on random people sometimes. Like, oh, yeah. I just, yeah. I don't know. Telling women they can't because, talk. Because the last time we saw the Ferengi, it was that arms dealer during unification when he was in the, the Star, right. Star Wars style he, bar, like, the cantina. Was, yeah. He was not that smart, and no, no, he was like a everything. chunky idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's my that's no, my I impression. think the most recent uh, instance of Ferengi was the Perfect Mate. Oh, you're right. Yeah. That's true. Would, they were also bumbling idiots in that yes. one yeah, too. The one idiots where center. the one where like he was trying to stand on that one like little thing and then like kind of <laughs> fell. a barrel for some yeah, and, yeah. And, and and that's my impression of the. And Ferengi, it looked like right? they killed the guy, but they didn't actually kill the guy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. It's interesting to me that this episode was just like, holy shit. Yeah. They're kind of badass. They're able to like take all these people, round them up, take over the Enterprise, uh, and and had a fighting chance of making it out and, and killing all these people. So I don't know. They, they almost succeeded. Almost succeeded, they, yeah. They only didn't succeed because they got overconfident. If they remained vigilant, they probably could have actually taken over everything. They mm-hmm. got uh, further than I ever thought they would. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my so for that I give it an eight. Well, well, that's fair. And also, I want to point out two more things. Oh, one the scene between Miles and Keiko. I actually really love how it ends because he says, "We'll work this out," and she goes, "How? <laughs> I don't know." <laughs> it just cuts. Just shut up. Let's hug. <laughs> like it's gonna be fine. Shut up. 
and <laughs> we're in the we're in the future where science happens. Yeah, <laughs> some sort of science will fix this. <laughs> and I wanted Kid Guinan to serve at the bar. I wanted her to be at the bar. <laughs> that yeah. would have been great. I kind of wanted everyone to try to go back to their jobs initially. Yeah, like Ro goes back to, to the try, bridge. Yeah, Guinan tries Guinan to go back to the bar to dispense yeah. advice to sad sacks at the bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keiko tries to go back to the to the botanist area and tries to yeah, and that do her one lady there. who doesn't like do anything for anyone. anyone. Yeah, well, just, like, she would, Keiko would have been fine. She just would have been ignored. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Laura. <laughs> That's it. Uh, all right. Well, that was Rascals. Thanks for listening, everybody. That was a fun episode. I like when Star Trek's doing more of these fun, silly episodes. So that's good. Uh, that's a fun time. It was very fun. Yeah. And if you guys had a fun time, maybe you could, wherever you're listening, Apple podcast or Spotify or YouTube or wherever, just uh, give us a, a like or rating or review, whatever. If you feel like it, you don't have to You can do whatever. And if you're on the YouTube version, uh, maybe you want to join the channel. It's only $1.99 a month and it gets you access to uh, ad free versions of the episodes. There are no YouTube ads and you get early access to new episodes. We're also planning to finally put up a discord. So once that discord is up, I will let everybody know. And also become a member, become a member. It's only a dollar 99. Yeah, it, it'll be fun. I've also been like putting up more member engagement community posts. Yeah. Just so, you know, we're, we're having fun. We're having fun. It's only a dollar 99 a month, less than a Starbucks coffee. Oh, much like six times less. <laughs> yeah. Much, so, much mm-hmm. less now. <laughs> and also, if you guys ever want to send us an email, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. This ep- this who said what? <laughs> this email comes from Chris, whose subject line in the email, Del Taco SCV. So, hey, gang, long time listener, first time caller, big fan of what you guys are doing and can't wait for you to get to DS9. This might be too niche for an on air read, but I have to check in with you guys about this. I am from Santa Clarita and about the same age as y'all. Thus, I have been around the block in terms of restaurants, especially the late night fast food variety. If you guys have had bad experiences with Del Taco and SCV while at CalArts, I am betting that it was the location in Stevenson Ranch on oh the God. old road. Oh my so God. That actually was. Yes. That was- <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who are you? Do you know me? Thank you for doxing us. Do you us. know us? Yeah. How, how, how do you know all this information about us? Because yes. Uh, he continues, uh, they are famously inept. Uh, also, as a rebuttal yeah. to the unanswered Taco Bell favoritism I hear, I will also ask these questions. One, who took the Mexican pizza off their menu? Two, who brought it back at a higher price to squeeze their customers? I'll let you guys consider that while oh. I eat a birria ramen. Those fucking idiots at Stevenson Ranch finally got to me. Enjoy the screenshot from Unification Part 1 from when TNG was still on Netflix. Love. Chris and the the uh, Thanks, Chris. screenshot. Thank you for fighting the good fight, Chris. <laughs> yeah, the, the the screenshot I shall put up shortly. But yes. basically, it's just uh, wait. So it's literally a screen cap of the show. Yeah, so it's just a rating because Netflix used to put ratings <laughs> for the show. <laughs> ah, this is great. Yes. Rated yeah, for fear. Right. Okay, sex. yeah, yeah. Okay. Fear, yeah. I was wondering how this would be significant if it's just a screen cap from the show. But now I see. I this understand is now. Fantastic. This is fantastic. This is a great screen cap. Okay, for listeners at home, it is simply a picture of a TV screen of the Netflix episode where um, Data is watching uh, Picard <laughs> sleep awkwardly inside the Klingon ship. And Data is apparently threatening him with fear and sex. Yes, and, yeah. In the, up, in the, in the left corner is the rated yeah. TV PG that Netflix would put in there. And every single time, uh, there was always fear, comma, sex on TNG uh, in North America for some reason. <laughs> That's fascinating. Fear, comma, sex. Or I guess I should say USA specifically because Canada is different. Well, Chris, thank you for your email. So oh, wait, do much. they have like do they have that at Del Taco? Wait, he's he's that what the Bidia Ramen? Yeah, yes. they had it. They had it at the time. Uh, uh, I don't. I think they've already removed it from the menu because it didn't catch. But Del Taco sucks. has a very very varied menu. There's a lot of stuff. What well, I you say that while Taco Bell's fucking dropping new shit every month. They like, are, yeah. there's such it, a flavor of the month. Ta- like chain and i love it it's always fun <laughs> but i don't know how's that I mean, cantina chicken sarah <laughs> it's really good actually i've tried it it's, it's, it's very that. good um very very good <laughs> but you're right i would not go to del taco in santa clarita maybe there's that one remember that link i sent for the del taco in that one location yes so apparently there's a del taco 
that is in uh, uh, Barstow, you know, the stop that's before uh, Las Vegas that everyone stops at in Barstow. That is one of the oldest Del Tacos in America. And he, he has not changed a menu at all since it opened. And everything is made from scratch on premises. And it actually looks really good. It does. Uh, I would try that. So maybe next time on our way to Vegas, when we're driving over, we should make a little stop there because that that's something stop making del taco this like mythical monolith <laughs> like you, you can just try it sometime it's all right well I this think is it, a different it depends where this is a completely Dan. different one this is a completely different type of del taco i don't want to try it in santa clarita those are not the people that i trust you know? <laughs> i don't well, then trust don't go to people. that one <laughs> well I, where, I do who want... am i to trust i don't know several others any others uh, not in santa clarita <laughs> not, not the notoriously bad one that we just received an email about not, because it's no one to be no, bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not I'm a just one with weary. A I'm weary. That's uh, all I'm going to say. All right. Thank you, Chris, for the email. And thank you, listener. Thank you, listening. Chris. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Chris. If you're into the stuff we do, hang on, hang on, head on over. People are closer to knowing exactly where we <laughs> live than ever. <laughs> head on yeah. over to... F- <laughs> well, that's only when we went to school. We don't go to school there anymore. Uh, we don't live there It's been anymore. a long time. We, so. we, we definitely Quit do not live in... giving them clues, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't live in Santa Clarita, I'll tell you that. Jeez, uh, I try to throw people off the scent and you're just like... <laughs> <"Whoop."> <laughs> If you guys uh, d- d- like what we're doing, you can head on over to FugitiveFrames.com. We have links to all the stuff we do, including the Would You Stay Tuned podcast. Yeah, that's stuff happening. Next week, you can already tell from the title that it's going to be another fun episode because the title is A Fistful of Datas. So just imagine okay. what that will entail. This I mean, sounds hmm. like it could be, I don't know. I will I will give one slight spoiler. The, the, no, the, no spoilers. One of the most famous images is... Worf in a cowboy hat. So, oh, what? Okay, I'm you can excited now. Enough of that from the title, so that's good. That's exciting. A fistful of data. It's coming. It's coming next time here on Newbie Star Trek. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time. See you next Goodbye. time. Bye, right, everybody. Bye. Ah.